How's everyone doing today guys and welcome to another brand new video. So today we're actually going to be looking at some of the best hiding spots on Rainbow Six Siege. These are just a group of some of our favourite ones. Of course there are tons of other hiding spots but we feel that these ones worked really well for us. So let's jump straight into this guys and have a look at the first one. So our first hiding spot of the day guys is actually located on the map bank. Now this is a really easy spot to use and all it requires is putting a shield down between the two counters in the kitchen area of the map. Now once you've done this all you need to do is jump up on top of the counter, walk across the shield and this part is a little bit tricky but all you need to do is prone and crawl along the countertop till you reach the fridge and from here you just need to prone and stand until you get a vault prompt up on top of the fridge. Now once you're up on top of the fridge of course you have a really strong advantage over the enemy as you can watch the objective in front of you and of course if enemies try to push in from the door on your right you have the advantage to take them out because they will not expect you to be sitting up there and you have the possibility of winning the round. So for our second spot guys, and this is another really good one, it's located on cafe down the storage area of the map. This is actually near a spawn point for the enemies, so this works really well to start off the round with a couple of kills. All you have to do here guys is as you can see on screen, place a shield on the ground, vault up onto the shield, and there should be a prompt to vault up on top of the camera box in the corner. Now from here, you can use this to your advantage as enemies will be breaching the building from that side and of course they will be focusing on the hallway and the staircase and will not expect you to be sitting up there so you can take advantage of the round and get a few kills off the spawn. So hiding spot number three keeps us on cafe and it's located in the kitchen area of the map. Now this is a great spot, I can't emphasize it enough, it works so well against the enemy if the objective is located in the kitchen. All you have to do for this one guys is place a shield on the ground between the counter and the fridge, jump up onto the counter, walk across the shield and you'll be given a prompt to vault up onto the fridge. Now once you're on the fridge all you have to do is run across to the other fridge and use the unit on the wall as cover from any enemies pushing into the objective from the front side kitchen and you can use it to lean out get enemies who are trying to push in on the objective and of course you can also watch the door leading out into the bakery so it is a really really good spot and I would advise you to give it a shot This takes us onto the fourth hiding spot and it's actually located on consulate. Now, I really love this spot, it's so good, it's so sneaky. All you have to do is break the panels on any side of the desk, crawl inside the desk and you are completely just blocked out from view from any enemies who will be trying to push the administrator's office if the objective is located in there. They will not be expecting you to be in there and you can catch them on the flank if they do push into the objective they will not be expecting you to be hiding there. Of course you can shoot out the other side of the desk and use it to watch the doorway and if you wish to surprise an enemy coming in from the other side you can break through the front part of the desk and shoot them directly in the neck. So for hiding spot number four, this one is located on the map canal in the boat supplies room. Now if the objective is located here, it's a really, really good spot. And as you can see, it's very easy to do. You just need to vault up onto the fallen over shelf, vault up onto the middle shelf, and from there, just prone up against the back wall. And you'll be able to watch the entrance from the right coming in from the hallway. And of course, the entrance to your left coming in from the boat supplies. So our final spot takes us onto the map border. Now this is located in the armory room upstairs and it works so well against the enemy. It's one of our favorite spots to use. All you have to do is place your shield on the ground between the two lockers as you can see on screen. Then vault the ledge on the other side of the chairs up on top of the first locker. And once you reach the corner side, make sure to take out the TV to make it easier to run across to the middle locker. And from there, jump down onto the shield and use the shield to vault up on top of the final crate and from there guys 
you have an incredible strategic advantage against any enemies pushing the objective. You can watch the visa office, you can watch the metal detector entrance and of course the doorway leading into the back office. And if you do breach a hole in the wall, you'll be able to see the entrance coming in from outside. And of course the entrance to your right, which is where you'd be most prone to be taken out by an enemy. But overall it's a really really good spot and we'd advise you to use it, it works so well for us. So that's it for the video today everyone, I really hope you enjoyed some of the best hiding spots that we love to use on Rainbow Six Siege. If you have some of your own favourites make sure to drop them down in the comment section, we'd love to see what you use. And of course if you would like to see another hiding spots video, if this video can get 50 likes then we will push on and make a second one. And of course guys it's always important to subscribe to the channel for more upcoming content and to check out our other videos. And as always, whack that like button.